Hey everyone, so in this video what I'm going to be doing is just to show you how you can insert uh, media onto your timeline in between or in front of existing media and to shift everything else along so that you don't chop off uh, video or audio around that where you're inserting the new media. So there are a couple of different ways that you can do this and the easiest way is just to select everything that you want to move and shift it along. But there's actually a couple of different ways you can do that as well. But So first of all just suppose we have a piece of video that we want to insert in here in between this countdown movie clip and this hotel pool movie clip and as you can see it's not a very big space that we have there uh, and the video that we want to insert is actually bigger than this space so well that's that's a little bit of a problem but we can handle that easily enough and so what I'm going to do, the first method of doing this is that we'll select everything that we want to move and then just shift it along. And to do that, we ideally we want to be able to see everything that's on the timeline. So we'll make these videos in the timeline just a little bit smaller and we'll scroll back down here on the timeline scale just so that we can see everything and there you go now we have everything in the timeline and we can see everything okay so all i'm going to do i'm just going to draw a rectangle around everything that i want to move and then just shift it along so here we go i'm just going to make sure i've selected everything and you can see them uh, highlighted in orange as they become selected and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to grab one of these hold it down and shift everything along and that's it that's all you need to do and now we've got a bigger space in here and as you saw everything on each of the layers moved along at the same time so we're not kind of messing around with anything being uh, unsynchronized, if you like. Um, and then we can just come along and insert our video in this new space that we've created. You could also have selected each of these individually if you'd wanted to. Uh, so just control and hold down each one like this. But, you know, if you have a lot of... Uh, media on your timeline then that's a real pain and there's always a chance you might miss a small one like this and you know you can get into trouble like that so let's just come up here and we'll undo that uh, that move that we made and we'll do the second way as well so the method I just showed you, that, that works fine for some stuff, but maybe you've got something a little more complicated that you want to do. Or, um, maybe you want to exactly keep this space exactly the same as what it is right now. Um, and so to do that, just supposing we come up here, we've got this uh, video that we want to insert. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to hold down... So I'm going to select it, I'm going to hold down my shift key, I'm going to bring it down here, and as you can see it's too big to fit in that gap, but I'm holding down shift and I'm going to put it into that gap, still holding down shift, I let go of my mouse, lift up my shift key, and there you go. Everything's moved along and I've kept the same gap in between those videos as existed beforehand and that's it um, 
everything on every layer on the timeline moves accordingly and so that's um that's a pretty simple way of doing it so let's just undo that a moment come up here undo insert clips and we've got our old space back again um one more thing you might want to do and you think oh, i wonder if that'll work or not is just supposing you just want to put a couple of frames right at the beginning of your video um you could do the system that I showed you earlier, just select everything and move it along. Or you can do the shift method as well. So just supposing we want to put this video right at the very front of our timeline. I'm holding down shift and I just move it right down there, right in front of that first um, MP4 and audio file that we've got there. Still holding down shift, let go of my mouse, and there you go. Um, it's inserted that video right at the front of the timeline. Everything else is shifted along. We haven't cut anything off. And really, that's about it. I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please take a moment just to click the like and the subscribe buttons below. Your support is much appreciated. Thank you for watching.